Can you like put it down at least? Okay. <clears throat> so it's called priorities, okay? <laughs> Hang on, let me move this because you don't want that. Okay. Got you. <laughs> I got home from the pub at 3 a.m. After a big night at the dirty Daha room. I had a morning shift from what I could remember. Should have thought twice about my drinking vendor. Threw on my uniform and headed for Yamba Drive. But all I could think about is how will I survive? I got to the board with slight hesitation. Tingly, there was a mole as I got crap allocation. Handover was a drag and it went for about an hour. But all I could think about was the patience I had to shower. Then I found out it was a mighty curse. With me on the day he was a bloody student nurse. <laughs> I to do the showers, but she didn't have permission. Then straight away, I got a new admission. So I had to admit this man from emergency. A fractured hand, that was the query. I quickly read the notes for a brief history. It was a friggin' novel. This is what it read to me. He had a colostomy and DVD. Deathless said he couldn't see, he couldn't walk, he couldn't cook. Lay there like a lump of pork. <laughs> Dialysis twice a week and iron our levels to check his peak. <laughs> Bullis, oh, where was that too? <laughs> oh, vancomycin, clithromycin, I think, maybe erythromycin, for his hepatitis, STDs, and pancreatitis. <laughs> his canker was shown a demo. He also suffered emphysema, osteoporosis, not to mention bad halitosis. <laughs> but there was something else I couldn't translate. I think it said in large prostate. Not totally certain, and possibly wrong, maybe. As beneath this here, red used to be a lady. My next step was a routine ECG, but the dots wouldn't stick, so I shaved him to his knees. <laughs> I don't know much, but it looked good to me, so I ran it past the doctor. She called and met immediately. Lucky I was quick and grabbed the defibrillator, but I didn't realize this man had a pacemaker. He got rather noisy, you could hear. In the tower, so I left the med team there as I had to start a shower. I told the student nurse about priority, so I ducked off to the tea room to have some morning tea. Priorities, my friends, this is how it has to be. Nurses can't survive without their morning cup of tea. They'll teach you this at uni, it's in protocol. They'll even test you on this in your nursing practical. When I got back, what a sight to see. Student connected nasal prongs to the SPC. <laughs> yeah, the buzzer kept ringing in room four, so I sent my student nippers. He was incontinent before. <laughs> and I still had to do my ops and empty all my drains. Then taking blood, I hit an artery, not a vein. It caused him some pain and he went a shade of green. So I went to find the drug he used to get him some morphine. But priorities, my friend, the shift is packed by the punch. First, I'm off to the tea room. I left my lady in there, it had been over an hour. So, I, <laughs> priorities, my friends, I quickly tried her off. Before I did the PCA on the man with the fractured knob. Then, then I heard a holler. Did you check your drug for me? I'm sorry, I cannot. I've got to have a cup of tea. And it didn't really matter if she didn't check for me. Priorities, my friend, this is how it has to be. Nurses can't survive without their morning cup of tea. When I got back, what a sight to see, my student found a pulse on a prosthetic knee. <laughs> I went back to my man, postman, call and realised I hadn't done any ops on this man at all. He looked kind of strange, his teeth were sunken in, and I must have got confused and put him off his quiz. But I'll just blame the student, what's well, one little mistake, besides i got to get to the tea room now to have a bit of cake. I can't remember the rest now. Uh, um, but it's a 24 hour business, so I'll just hand everything over. Besides, I gotta get home to sleep off my hangover. So I quickly wrote my notes and bugger checking the charts. Grabbed my bag and off by to dart. On my way, yeah, I said to my shooter, Priorities, my friend, this is how it has to be. Nurses can't survive without their morning cup of tea. And then I said to her, what have you learnt today? And you'll never guess what she simply had to say. She said priorities. Now I can see nurses can't survive.
with the fit morning cup of tea. They have taught me this at uni. I've seen it in Procona. I have passed my nursing 